It was like I couldn't believe what was happening. Peggy Jones of Silsby was mowing the back six acres of her home on Tuesday, August 1st, when a snake fell down onto her from above. He was starting to dart at my face and come into my face, and he was striking my glasses, and he just kept on and kept on, and I just couldn't get rid of the snake. And it was just, it was like, I think I went into survival mode. Doan says a hawk then came down and pulled the snake from her arm, but not before leaving severe cuts and puncture wounds. The hawk came down four times to get the snake off of my arm. When I looked down, I had blood all over my clothes. I had blood all over my arm. My arm was torn to shreds and I had severe bruising. Jones's husband took her to Altus Emergency Room in Lumberton, where they learned she hadn't been bitten by the snake, but it had done damage to her glasses. Jones describes the entire ordeal as traumatizing. The only thing that I could think of, my husband was at the front of the property and I was screaming and I knew he couldn't hear me. And the only thing I could think of was just to call on Jesus' name to come and help me. Her arm is now healing, but she says the emotional scars will need to heal too. You try to sleep at night, you can't sleep. And, and, and you're afraid to shut your eyes because you know if you shut your eyes and you go to sleep, then you're going to have a nightmare and you're going to relive this situation. But she is amazed at the outpouring of support and says her view of life has changed. I'm, I'm happy I'm alive. I'm happy I'm here. My family didn't, didn't ever mean less to me. They just mean more to me now than, than before because it showed me how in the blink of an eye things can change. Like I said, I, I feel differently about life now. I'm, I, I'm just so blessed. Blessed and known across the country after her story went viral. What matters most to Peggy, though, is that she's healing and recovering. I'm Sydney Ferguson reporting.